Well, last night, the Westbrook Hills basketball team knocked off North Shore for the second straight time. And with that, guaranteed themselves at least the second place seed out of District 21 6 You see, the Lady Bruins finished in a three-way tie for first with North Shore and Summer Creek in that district. And while the second seed's better than no playoff spot at all, the Lady Bruins have their sights set on the district's top spot. And that takes us to Beaumont United's gym, the first place tiebreak between Westbrook and Summer Creek. This one, a battle all you could ask for with so much on the line. Kira Owens was put back here as Westbrook erased a 10-point deficit in the final quarter, and these two were tied at 44 at the end of regulation. In the OT, Westbrook kept on the attack. Paris Nixon takes the length too much on her shot, but Latera Satcher's there from the putback. This was a tough contest. Free throws down the stretch ended up being the difference. As we go to the scoreboard of this one, the Westbrook Lady Bruins drop a heartbreaker in overtime to Summer Creek, 49-46. to So Summer Creek takes the district's top spot. The Lady Bruins will face Pasadena Memorial in the 6A by district round on Tuesday at 6 p.m. at Channel View High School. Best of luck to the Westbrook Lady Bruins. Let's go out to the pitch now. The Beaumont battle between Westbrook and United. The boys going first in this one tonight. And the T-Wolves kept the pressure on the Bruins. Keeper is Marcelo Rocha. He gets the keeper drawn out and puts it in the back of the net right there. United would take an early 1-0 lead. And the Timberwolves would get another shot on goal. In fact, United managed to get two more past the keeper. As we check the final on this one and check this out, the United Timberwolves get the Beaumont battle win against Westbrook 3-1. The final is the first win of the season for the United boys soccer team. Congrats to the Timberwolves. Maybe it's the first of many to come.